Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jay Campbell and Jay with the Jay Campbell podcast. It's not TOT Revolution anymore. So I just have to tell everybody at the very beginning of this as we transition, but I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual studio by Andrew Wax. Andrew, what's up, brother? How are you, man? Hey, Jay. How you doing? It's good to see you, man. So listen, guys. So Andrew is an integrative health specialist with Live Health. And Live Health is going to be busting onto the scene here in 2020 uh, in many, many ways. I'm going to let Andrew talk about that. But uh, Andrew, before we get started with all these things we're going to talk about, you know, just talk about your how you got to where you are in this level, you know, being with Live Health and, and how you got here on this, phone, on this podcast talking to me today. Hey, Jay. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me on. Um, you know, I, I originally thought I wanted to go to med school. I have degrees in biochemistry, physiology, psychology, neuroscience. Um, did a lot of clinical work, decided, hey, you know, I, I want to go to med school is what I want to do. I broke into the integrative health atmosphere. I, for the last five years, I've been working at uh, clinics around Boulder, Colorado, designing customized uh, integrative health protocols ultimately getting a certification in uh, peptides through the International Peptide Society and completing some advanced coursework through in bioidentical hormone replacement through the American Academy for Anti-Aging and Regenerative Medicine. So all of that, the culmination together, now I'm kind of like the peptide guy. So I, uh, I, I work with patients to educate them and make sure that they know what their options are, what they want to do approaching uh, an integrative health uh, anti-aging protocol. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Live Health. And, you know, I'll set you up in, in, from a standpoint of, you know, the biggest issue that I've had, obviously, in the last four or five years since I kind of took a commanding, you know, leadership thought presenter, whatever you want to call me in this space, is that people will come to me and they'll be like, and again, all over the world, they'll be like, Jay, man, I read your books, I follow you online, blah, 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 but I really need a doctor. Can you take care of me? And then, as you know, navigating the waters of telemedicine, of doctors in various states, of compounding pharmacies in other states, not being allowed to send their medications across state lines. I mean, it is a very nebulous, very difficult to maneuver and navigate industry for people who are looking for optimization healthcare positions. So talk, just talk a little bit about how Live Health is really going to change the game. So we're, we're a new telemedicine platform. We're, we're created by patients and physicians alike who are so frustrated with an inability to improve patient lives So what we've done is we've sought out to optimize access for one, and then the other form is is affordability. So what we're doing is giving patients access nationwide, all 50 states, to these integrative health treatments that you're talking about often uh, on all your podcasts. So ultimately what we're doing, contracting with these top tier physicians, uh, again, giving access. So our our process is unique in that, you have someone like me to bounce all your thoughts off of, work through education, and ultimately be on your way to health. So let's talk about that. So for, you know, for the average Joe, he's in Oklahoma, and he watches the Jay Campbell podcast, the TOT Revolution at one time, and now the Jay Campbell podcast, and he's like, dude, I want to get optimized. What do I do, right? So he emails me or he sends a message to one of my channels and says, Jay, man, I watch your stuff, dude. Hook me up. I need to find somebody that can optimize me. So that person, I want you to walk that person down the path. How can Live Health now help that person? Absolutely. So first step is booking an appointment with one of our integrative health specialists. Right now, a uh, good chance you'll get me. And you and I, we, we get on a video chat just like this, just like you and I are talking right now, Jay. We go through and say, hey, tell me about your health history. Tell me what's going on. What, what do you want to target? What, what are your interests? What are your goals? We establish those goals. And then we talk about the hundreds of options that, that are available in the integrative health atmosphere to say, okay, what can we do here? So Live Health is based in four pillars. And our first pillar is education and prevention, where education is paramount. So many people are hearing what you say in your podcast and what are being said in other podcasts and all, all of this information. And you know, whether it's on a blog, bro science, what have you, <laughs> all of this, all of this has to come together somewhere and, and we need to distribute that to patients so that they can then advocate for themselves. And that's, that's what I think is truly the basis of a well care model and, and preventative health. Uh, so first step, education, prevention, that that's how we get prevention. Then from there, we focus on hormones and peptides. Number two, number three, we look at supplements and number four, ultimately what we're doing is diet and fitness protocols. So, you know, the culmination of all those things 
I, I discuss all that with a patient. So whether they're interested in hormones, whether they're interested in peptides, it doesn't matter. We go through all of that and then we establish next steps, which are ultimately labs and then uh, an appointment with your physician. So we have, we, we work with some of these top doctors, you know, I, Dr. Elizabeth Yurth has been on your podcast. Yep. She's one of the docs that we uh, contract with. We also work with Dr. Smith Fernandez uh, in uh, Florida. Yeah, Heather, Heather in Florida. Yep. Heather Smith Fernandez in Florida. She's, uh, she recently authored a book called Peptology. She's, she's nothing short of amazing. Uh, James Foster in Kentucky. We, we have several doctors on staff that are, you know, some of these big name docs who know what sure. they're doing so that we can ultimately coordinate care and, and make sure that you're going down, down the right path. So, so one of the things that I like about your system and process above everything else out there is that you've kind of inverted the game because if you know, you know, and I won't mention names, although I should, of you know, uh, telemedicine services that have been around for a long time, it's the process of hurry up and wait. You know, people want to work with them and then they get, they get told that they can't have an appointment with a doctor for four to six months. And then they end up talking to a PA who doesn't know anything about optimization at all. And it's like effusive and deflective, right? Because like, I'm not the doctor. So what you guys have done is taken someone such as yourself, who's extremely knowledgeable, you know, and I've obviously um, spoken with you previously, this is a podcast and have talked to people who've told me your, you know, expertise and your knowledge and you are an as advanced as any doctor in understanding all these things, which you're talking about, right? Like hormone optimization, peptides, supplements, fitness, all these things. So you guys have, op, you know, again, as you said, optimized the path. And now it's like they talk to you first, you kind of walk them through the process so that by the time you end up speaking with them 20, 30 minutes later with a video call, they now know exactly the path that they should walk when they now go to the doctor. And so now there's not going to be the disconnect. There's not going to be like confusion. The doctor is not going to be, no, you know, no, not disparaging doctors, but the doctor is not going to be able to value add <laughs> the patient and put them on a bunch of things that they don't need because you've already dialed them in. So again, this process to me is the first and probably if not, you know, the only in the entire, probably the world that's really, you know, taking this angle um, and the way you guys are doing it. So, I mean, again, props to you guys. I love this. Can, can you talk a little bit about, because a lot of guys are going to say, and gals too, and of course this is for men and women, um, you know, I, I, I just want to do what Jay Campbell says. Now, obviously it's the Jay Campbell podcast. So, you know, you're going to get, it's going to be biased. It might be, I want to do what Ben Greenfield recommends. But the, but the bottom line is, is like, talk a little bit about how you're going to walk both men and women down the path of like using hormones versus using peptides and like, what's the differentiation? So, I mean, if every patient came in and did everything that you're doing, Jay, it would be uh, <laughs> good luck with that, man. They would be crazy and bold. <laughs> so ultimately, you know, we, we talk about the least that's going to do the most, right? right? We talk about the heavy lifters. We talk about the stuff, what's, what's important. And in the aging male and female, the first thing, truthfully, every, everyone's super interested in peptides right now. And I think peptides are great. We use them for a lot of things but you need to get right from a hormonal standpoint. Absolutely. Like it, it, it's, it's, you got to get the heavy lifters right. You really got to get that stuff dialed in. So then you can you know, fine tune with your peptides and, and really really target some stuff after the fact. If you're interested in growth hormone secretagogues from a peptide standpoint, which a lot of people are, they're great. But if you go that route first and you're low T, you're estrogen dominant as a female, you're hypothyroid, ultimately you're not going to get the best bang for your buck there. Right. And you're, you're, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be hard for the patient from a protocol and a financial standpoint. Yeah. So if we can get you optimized in terms of testosterone first, in terms of thyroid, in terms of estrogen, progesterone, and, and you know, maybe a couple supplements in there, then it's like, wow, these peptides are really going to do some stuff right. here. This is really going to make a difference. I'm, so, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you said that, Andrew, because, you know, and I want to stop you right there. I'm letting you talk a lot more about it, but this is where the big disconnect is in the world. And again, people watch my podcast, Ben Greenfield, Ben Pekulski, I can name a thousand other people. And then they're like, okay, I want to do this. But the problem is they go down the path of the average quote unquote physician and they get screwed up because they don't have someone like you to say, okay, Mr. and Mr. Smith, this is where you're at based on my assessment of you. And again, you guys have an amazing assessment before they even get on a call with you. So you already know exactly the path they want to walk. And then you, with your expertise and your knowledge, put them on a much more direct path. Whereas as you know, right now in the marketplace, they call up, they end up talking to a PA if they're lucky or an assistant, and then they get siloed to wait. 
and then they they you know are they, they get to hurry up and wait and then they lose interest or they watch some other dumbass podcast or some bro science board or something and then they get more confused rather than they call you they do a you know an intake a, a questionnaire they have all the information you talk to them within a week if not earlier or sooner sometimes a couple of days obviously as you guys get bigger it might be a little bit longer of a wait whatever but the bottom line is is like they're not going to be misled and that to me is where your guys where you really are, are shining and are going to shine as more and more people become aware of this but i want you just to just to go back to something because you're so on it you know it's not about just pushing peptides or pushing testosterone or pushing any of these things it's about looking at the person as assessment and saying, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, this is your problems. And did you know that right now you can naturally optimize by doing this, this, and this before we go down those other paths. And then you're right. It's about testosterone and thyroid and insulin and all those things first, before we start talking about all these other exotic drugs. And I know you know this, that unfortunately doctors are trying to make money. And when they do see the patient, a lot of times they just put them on this, 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 and this when the patient isn't even remotely balanced or optimized yet and so it just sends them down a quest of spending a lot of money as you said and getting very little ROI you want to just mention we'll talk a little bit about that so you know starting out the patient and I put together some sort of pseudo protocol so the patient has mostly an idea of the direction that they want to go before they even get labs drawn right. but ultimately our physicians are the ones who are going to make the final calls there because again I'm, I'm not a physician I'm right. well educated in the space uh, and, and I can talk all day about peptides, hormones, you know, we could get in some rabbit holes here, sure. but ultimately, it, you know, the physicians make the final decisions and in, in, in the direction to go. But in talking with the patient and saying, Hey, you know, this is the direction that we could go and, and working with some of these doctors that we have on, 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 on staff that we're contracted with, we really have the opportunity to build some of the most cutting edge anti-aging regenerative protocols that, you know, are around, but it all comes down to starting small, right? So, you know, and we've, we've alluded to it several times here. We need to start small, start, start with the heavy lifters. Again, if some guy comes in, you know, he's 43 years old, he's uh, not sleeping well, he's uh, not, he, he's holding on to extra fat, he doesn't have energy, he's, you know, deterioration in sports performance, yep. he's falling asleep after dinner, all these classic symptoms of, oh, you've got some probably low T or, uh, partially subpar testosterone levels uh well we need to do something about that right and a lot of times these guys come in and they say the first thing i want to do is bpc 157 <laughs> well i mean yeah we, we we could do that and 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 that that makes sense i guess a little bit but you know let's let's start let's start a different case and let's let's get you paying a fifth of the price maybe you know and, and then and then build from there so yeah. my role here is just to say hey you know let's let's pump the brakes Let's, let's start small and let's build this over time so that you can really appreciate your experience with us. And then that way we don't jade our relationship with our patients and saying, hey, here's 20 things, do all of them now and uh, see you in a year. Yep, very, very well said. And I'm glad you brought that up. Right, obviously the doctors will always have the final say and they will determine clinical needs. But again, having you or someone from Live Health in a similar position to you, patients to, ba yeah, to baby step them, right, to baby step them and get them to where they feel smart enough that when they have a conversation with the doctor, they're not going to get value added to death. Or and again, you guys are contracting with doctors that are the best in their field. They're not going to be playing that game anyway. So yeah. it's, a very, it's a very seamless process, again, in my opinion. Um, listening to you guys, you know, uh, listening to you, obviously, you know, obviously I saw you guys talk to you guys at your booth at A4M and stuff. I really think this is a huge, huge, you know, one up slash leg up in the field now, especially as we move into 2020. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to mimic a slash attempt to copy this model because it's so cool. But so let's, let's just talk real quick again, just very briefly when people ask, because they're going to ask um, if they're in any state, they're not going to have a problem being prescribed anything because you guys have contracted with doctors that are licensed in all 50 states, right? We're, we're licensed in all 50 states. The one issue that we have is, truthfully, California. because well, Who doesn't have an issue with California, bro? It's the People's Republic. Right? <laughs> so, uh, and I'm from the People's Republic of Boulder, so I'm, I'm with you there. But, uh, you know, at, at, at the end of the day, California does have some restrictions on what we're allowed to send in terms of injectable compounds. We do get all of our peptides right now and all of our hormones from TaylorMade Compounding. We, we partnered with them for uh, prescription purposes and they're killing it. But unfortunately, That's kind of a smart idea or smart yeah. uh, 
uh, a, a, a combination of teams. Uh, they're the yeah. only people that have all the peptides. Yeah, no, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they, they've, they've got their stuff together right now. But awesome. ultimately, uh, and I, I do have a, I think TaylorMade puts out uh, what products are available to Californians specifically. Um, and I, I can see, I might have a copy of it. Otherwise, I can reach out to TaylorMade and see if we can send one over if that's something you want to post. That's cool. Yeah, so what, we'll, well, what we do, yeah, so what we, it's a good point. What we'll do when this runs is we'll, um, you know, update all the copy in the YouTube video with how people can get in touch and also know if they're in California, potential patients, what they can and can't get. Um, just a couple other things that I think are very important that I want to talk about, and then you can let people know how they can actually start working with sure. uh, Liv immediately. But that is the protocols, um, which you can't really talk about, but just give like a basic peptide and testosterone optimization protocol that you think an average consumer of, say, 45-year-old, you know, the average Jay Campbell follower. And the that guy Jay is between follower. 40 and 50. And he's probably, like you said, testosterone deficient. He's probably thyroid deficient. He probably has, you know, a little bit of gut or belly fat. Like what would be like, you know, a normal, and again, you're not the doctor and I'm not asking you to play one, but what would be a normal protocol for someone like that? So the first thing that I would d discuss with that patient is, is testosterone. You have, you have a 45 to 50 year old male. That's, that's number one. Right. You would say, Hey, you know, what's, what's going on? What's going on here? I would go through the, all the educational stuff talking about, uh, starting from the, the types of testosterone that we would use, whether it's transdermal, injectable, pellets, um, you know, the, the, there are a lot of options out there, right. and, and each person's unique. We, we need to sort of say, okay, how, how do we want to treat you? I know you're impartial to your uh, transcortical cream, um, but whatever's, you know, whatever, whatever they'll hit, adhere to. You know, and, I, obviously, I was always against pellets, and now I realize that they're special forces guys. That's the only option. So, you know, yeah. it's what, what the patient adheres to will work. Yep. And it all, and it comes down to compliance is the other thing we need to keep exactly. the patient compliant. So whatever the patient wants to proceed with, that's yep. where we go with. Exactly. Uh, and it's, it's that combined with the physician's input, but you know, we talk about the role of HCG. We talk about the role of aromatase inhibitors, which, mm, but you know, and then uh, beyond that, then, then we start talking about thyroid. We say, okay, what's the role of thyroid here? How, how can this help you? You know, what, what, what age do your hormones start falling off? And at what age is it appropriate to start implementing them? So, you know, this 45, 50 year old guy, again, probably going to start with some form of testosterone, right. probably going to start with some form of thyroid, move on, talk about some, some unique supplement offerings, talk about some, talk about some stuff there from a cellular senescent standpoint. Yeah. And then, then we start talking, okay, what about peptides? What about, what about growth hormone secreti right. What about some of these unique product offerings like uh, FOXO4 DRI or, you know, modest C or, or, or some of these other really interesting compounds? When do we implement these? When do we start doing this stuff? Well, we do, just not right away. Not, not right out the gates. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing else more needs to be said. I mean, you guys already heard that, you know, they're partnered with TaylorMade. So everything is available when there's a clinical need based on your awareness, based on like the type of things that you are, based on the po point you are in your life. So all good stuff. Um, last thing that I wanted to talk about, which I know you guys uh, have spent a lot of money and obviously R and D on is the app that you yeah. guys have created for live health. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? So our, our patient app is pretty amazing. So what, what it originally served as is just a communication platform for, okay, instant message, my integrated health specialist, myself or my physician, uh, and, and, uh, order, reorder prescriptions. But we decided, well, we're national now. We, there's a need for, national data gathering you know we, we need to get all this stuff together so we can follow labs we can follow uh, uh protocols we can follow each patient specifically but then we can say okay what's making the biggest difference here what's in in this in this air arena of integrative health you know data is paramount so if we can get all of that congregated in one place great and then on top of that you have customized nutritional plans customized fitness protocols uh articles that link to new product offerings, very interesting supplement lines. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's awesome. Patients love it. It's been a really great opportunity to try something new and do something that nobody's doing and then ultimately bring it in one place and say, hey, here it is in my phone. So you guys, obviously, the goal, the name of the game now today in fitness and splash, you know, data anal analysis is integration, right? Like you know, live health, like integrating live health into the things that people use, right? iPhones, 
fucking watches, um, the Garmin stuff. You know, everybody's got wearables and shit. So my assumption is you guys built it so that it'll integrate pretty much with all the top tier wearable devices. Absolutely. Fitbit, Apple, uh, Apple Watch, um, full integration there so that we can track uh, heart rate variability, uh, sleep, sleep data, and, you know, who knows? More to come. Maybe so, dude, so, so to me, on. Andrew, this is where your big win is. I mean, obviously, everything you're doing is tremendous. The market desperately needs it. But this is where you separate yourself, right? Like now a guy, Joe Smith, 44-year-old, testosterone deficient, is now going to have all, after you've counseled him, walked him down the path, given him a strategy and a protocol to follow, uh, so, you know, previous to his doctor then, you know, writing some prescriptions, now he's going to be able to integrate his plan. And Absolutely. so now like every day, every week, every month, he's going to be tracked by not just himself, but you guys are going to be able to monitor and you'll be able to ping him. Hey dude, you can't be eating that. Yep. Did you take your supplements? It looks like you didn't, you know, check in. I mean, this is where you really are going to, you know, like I said, you know, change the game because you, nobody, at least that I know of outside of like really expensive, ultra exotic can't, uh, people that are paying like, you know, like stickler's deal um, is really like monitoring. And like you said, you know, affordability, and we haven't even talked about affordability. And I want, you know, to, I want you to finish with that, but this is where you guys are a true game changer. This is doing everything right, you know, steering people down the correct path, not ripping them off, and then monitoring them. So essentially, did they have like a personal trainer slash a health coach on their shoulder you know, monitoring uh, them, saying, look, I, dude. They're all going to get tired of me. Patients yeah. are going to get very tired of me because yeah. I'm, exactly. I'm going to be calling you. I'm going to be texting you. I'm going to be saying, hey, did you do this? Are you good? What, what, what do you got working? What's going on? Uh, so there, there, there are two sides of things where we hold our patients accountable, but our patients also need to hold themselves accountable. Of so compliance is a huge point here. Uh, but ultimately, you know, I, I think through our platform and what we've established here, we're really going to be able to focus on compliance specifically there. In terms of pricing, yeah. what we offer is for concierge service, unlimited access to both myself and your physician or another integrative health specialist and your physician who, once you're assigned one of us, we're, we're your people. I'm, I'm your guy. Whatever you need, I, I got you covered. Um, and same with your physician, un unlimited access. We offer that for $150 a month plus the cost of medications. We do have an- I mean, dude, that, hold on, I got to stop you. That is- did you guys just hear that? So, yeah. So, dude, that's amazing. That, that's game changer in and it of itself, knowing that you have access to TaylorMade, knowing that you have access to you, knowing that you have access to some of the smartest doctors in the United States who are also coached up and understand all these different protocols, who understand optimization. They're not sick care doctors. So, I mean, like, this is a big win, you know, again, in my place. And obviously, I'm totally biased because I want to see people get optimized. But I mean, dude, 150 bucks, but talk, you know, from a, from a, a deeper down the funnel pricing standpoint, do you want to talk a little bit about like what works like, you know, to get the whole Rolls Royce package to like the bare minimum? I think, you know, reasonably the bare minimum, probably the average patient is going to be spending $250, $300 a month. That's in total with their uh, $150 concierge fee. Now the Rolls Royce side of things, you know, consider that on an average, I would say peptides are between a hundred and six hundred dollars per peptide per month. Right. Right. So, from that standpoint, I mean, you can get into some pretty pricey protocols. You know, right. you, have, you have a patient on Tessamorelin, Mod SC. I, uh, you know, right, right there, you're looking at just with those two, that's over a thousand dollars a month right. just in, in, right. in protocols. So, I guess, so it's fair to say if somebody's on the absolute Rolls Royce Tesla you know, ludicrous speed version, they're about 1250 a month. Yeah, I think uh, around there, but I mean, even, even more, you know, if, if you, yeah, no, I mean, of course, but I mean, you're right. I mean, again, I always compare everything to Stickler. Stickler's got a deal where he charges 50 grand a year, right? Yeah, so it's so, like, you're not going to be that much. And again, no. <laughs> you know, again, everybody has different finances, economic situations, and there's no judgment and it's cool. I think it's fair and it's really effective that guys and gals can look at this and say, fuck dude, for $300 a month, I'm going to get the best healthcare in the world. Right? Absolutely. Because you, when, they are. And when you consider, I mean, and, and you alluded to it, the, you know, five to $10,000 a month is what this, this is typically going to go for. Right. And we're doing it for a fraction, you know, exactly. a fraction of that cost. 
Yep. We do have an upfront uh, registration fee that it goes along and, and includes your initial labs. Yep. We do run labs between two and four times a year, just depending on what the patient needs. And yep. certainly some people come in and they say, I want this, 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 and this one. Right. Great. We'll add it on there. Uh, our initial labs are comprehensive, but they're not exhaustive. And I like to make that apparent to our patients because again, it's all about starting small. We don't want to exhaust the patient from a financial standpoint, and we don't want to get into rabbit holes that we don't need to get into initially. Now there is some stuff you absolutely have to run, but you know, for uh, our initial cost is eight, eight ninety-five, 95. And then we, you know, modulate from there because everyone's a little bit different. Some people after talking with them, we have to add a few more labs on some other people. Let's, let's, let's eliminate some of these things. Right. But in general, you know, that's a one-time fee. And then you, you are responsible for paying for labs again after the fact, but we estimate those to be, you know, maybe a hundred dollars every time. That yeah. And I also tell people this too, that initially you must, okay, so let's do this and be really nice. And I've never done this on a podcast before. So right. if you were doing this independent, and you went to private MD labs, discounted labs, direct labs, and you did what they're doing, which would be like, I would classify as the ultimate anti-aging thing because I just did it myself recently. And with a coupon, okay, and I had a 15% off coupon and I did it through private MD labs. Uh, it was four, it was 396 bucks. So 15% discount. So that $895 also, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that also co co covers the initial consult with the physician, correct? That it covers that initial consult with your physician, that covers your labs, and it covers registration with Live Health. Dude, come on. You're getting some of the top doctors in the United States. We've already mentioned their names. They're going to be probably adding others. I will be podcasting with them. I've already podcasted with Dr. Elizabeth Yorth. You guys already know. So you're getting some of the best people, the highest educated, most aware, the top folks in the optimization health community. I mean, $895, give me a break. Um, again, comprehensive labs. So I mean, if you, you know, let's again, price this out. So 400 bucks for labs, dude, a consultation with one of the top docs for what? 395 bucks, you know, yeah. 400 bucks, whatever it is. Uh, no. So the bottom line is it's a hell of a deal. You got to pay 895 up front, but you are going to get dialed. I did want to just mention one more thing and then I'll let you tell how people can jump on this. Um, labs are not as important once you're dialed, right? Yes. Initially, you're going to do comprehensive things, but like, for example, guy like me, 20 years now being optimized or on the optimized path, and I get my labs once a year, yeah. okay? So we have now, that doesn't mean that a guy, a girl, in the initial first couple of years, and some people are six months, some people are two years, you know, are not going to get a lot of labs to look at variables and biomarkers that may or may not, you know, increase or decrease, whatever, but you're right, you know, it's not that important, and people need to realize that a yearly you know, measurement and diagnostic is what's important when you're dialed in and they're going to dial you in. You're working with the best doctors. This is what they do for a living. So Andrew, this has been amazing. How can people right now, when this podcast runs, jump on board the Live Health train? So you can visit livehealth.com. That's L-I-V-H-E-A-L-T-H.com. I uh, click the link. It says something like start living, sign up for an initial consultation with one of the integrative health specialists. Uh, to get started, get going, and we'll get the ball rolling. You'll be prompted to fill out a medical intake form. It is a little bit lengthy. Um, takes on average about eight or nine minutes to fill out. Uh, but, but that's important. You, you got to get a deep dive. Very prudent. We need to know everything going yeah. into this. And the more honest yeah. the patients are with us, uh, the better The better that we can treat them. So that's that's super, super important starting out. And then beyond that, you know, it's it, it just sort of takes it itself. You can schedule an appointment. Typically, we have appointments booked out about 48 hours. Uh, so you're, you know, within a week, you could be all set up and started on this program. Awesome, man. Well, listen, dude, I truly appreciate you coming on here today. It's been epic. I will say to this to my audience, there's a very strong possibility that I may be in some capacity doing some work with Live Health. And if that happens, you guys will be the first to know. Um, there'll be like an affiliate code or whatever. Um, that's not, we're, we have not discussed any of that, but obviously what they're doing, I want to be a part of because I want to be able to direct people to go down the optimization path and know that they're not going to get screwed up. As I would say, the Jake Campbell word would be quacked. And uh, you know, that's again, you guys are providing the most amazing service. I fully trust in what you're doing. I trust in the doctors that you guys are already hired on staff and everybody knows <laughs> that I'm a huge supporter and believer in of course, tailor made and you guys are already working with them to get your guys uh, peptides and I'm sure other medications. So dude, I wish you an amazing uh, holiday and a Merry Christmas, and I thank you so much for coming on today. 
Merry Christmas to you, Jay. Thanks for having me. And uh, I look forward to maybe possibly a good chance of working with you in the future. Awesome, brother.